C. Lindelof video's future value theorem. This is for a finance class. This is number 14, finding in. Let me start by saying this to you. The first thing you have to memorize is the future value theorem or the future value formula. From that, there are only so many ways that you can solve this, so just have this memorized. Some professors have this turned around where you solve for payment in terms of future value. I don't bother with any of that crap. I just plug it in the way it is, and then I do my math. So here they've given us these values here. They've given us a future value. They've given us a payment value and an interest rate. So all I'm going to do is plug it into the theorem. The theorem says that future value, which happens to be 8,000, is equal to the payment of, in this case, 500 times 1 plus, well, let's just do it, 1.04, isn't it, to the nth power minus 1 all over 0.04. So far, so good. From here, there's tons of ways that you can do this arithmetically. Um, what I choose to do is I usually go ahead and divide by this coefficient here. But what some people do is they'll take this coefficient and they'll divide by this first. Just This is the way I always do it. So I'm going to divide this by 500. And 8,000 divided by 500 is 16. 16. So 16 is equal to 1.04 to the nth power minus 1. Remember this, minus 1 is not an exponential value over 0.04. And then from here, I'm just going to keep doing my arithmetic here. I'm going to multiply both sides by 0 0.04. 0 0.04. 0 0.04 gives me 0 0.64. 0 0.64 is equal to 1.04 n to, I'm sorry, to the nth power, minus 1. So far, so good. Keep in mind, please, the whole time, we're trying to solve for this value n right here, aren't we? So what I'm going to do is, here's the negative 1. I'm going to add 1 to both sides to give us 1.64 is equal to 1.04 to the nth power. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. Here, we, I usually talk about using the log of convenience, because remember, what we want is this. We want to get this in by itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply log base 1.04 of 1.04 to the n to both sides. Remember, it's the same rule as algebra. You can apply logs as long as you do that equitably. That is both sides, right? Keeping in mind that this can be rolled back to here. So this is actually n log base 1.04 of 1.04 is equal to log base 1.04 of 1.64. Don't let this mess with you too much. But we do know this, that log base anything of itself is 1, isn't it? So this thing goes to 1, and 1 times n is n. So n is equal to log base 1.04 of 1.64. If we put that into the calculator, we should get back, oh look, it's there. What did I say it was? I can't believe I'm that good. Log point, is it 1.04 of 1.64? 1.64. So we're going to round up to 13. We good? So something to keep in mind here is that this, when you get to this, this is a num this is a value. And if you are, depending on what university you're at and what course this is, this answer could be sufficient because this is a numeric value, isn't it? All right? If you have any questions or comments, let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do.